Welcome everyone and welcome with a new channeling of the Council of Light. And today we have a question from one of my viewers. I will read it to you. Do only humans have an ego identity? Well, that's a very interesting question and I'm curious myself as well. So let's see what the Council of Light has to say. Dear you, and thank you so much for your question. And we want to make jokes that this is a ego question, of course, to ask about ego of others. But for us, the ego is also called the self-consciousness of being protected. So please understand that we look at the ego from a different kind of form because we are looking at the ego from the seventh dimension. So you can say that the expansion of your consciousness goes wider and wider the more you lift up in the dimensions. So please understand that if you go lower in the dimensions, let's say all the way down to the third dimension, there is a different form of your consciousness available than when you are experiencing life from the seventh dimension. That is also why it is so interesting for us to speak about your ego, because in our dimension there is no ego needed. So from now on we will call the ego the consciousness which protects itself all the way down to the third dimension. So the answer to your question is yes. Every living form in the third dimension has a protection form to survive. Why? Because in the third dimension there is the consciousness that you need to survive to stay alive. And this is a frequency form which is very old. So when living in the third dimension, you are getting to used to the frequency of surviving the moment you are born. And this is for all living creatures. Also when you are a plant or an animal, you are being conducted to live by the form of survival. So please let us explain a little bit more. This is not a conscious choice. This is just a form of living because you are in a form. And the third dimension of form is a form of aliveness and also death. Which also means that sometimes energy is needed to stay alive. And therefore the ego or what you are calling the ego is formed. So it is a protection method to help you to stay alive instead of dying. So if every living creature has a form which reminds itself how to stay alive and to stay safe in your own life frequency, so you can live on instead of dying, you realize that the ego is helping you to survive on this planet. And now the collective consciousness is moving through a higher dimension, slowly but steady, higher and higher, climbing all frequencies on the higher range of the fifth dimension, we realize that our consciousness is less and less occupied by surviving and only by feeling that you are loved. Which is a huge shift for humanity. Instead of surviving, we are now programmed with the information of the heart frequency which is acceptance and compassion, forgiveness and love for life. So the moment we fall into these higher frequencies, our perspective on life is quite different. And for us it's really important to say that the earth is already in these higher frequencies of love, compassion, forgiveness and acceptance. So the moment we tune in with this higher perspective 
all the way to be felt in our bodies. And we connect with the earth, we realize we don't have to survive to stay alive. Why? Because we are already alive. Always. And this is a huge collective shift what humanity is making. So even when our form is dying, we are still alive. Because our consciousness can vibrate in these higher frequencies and sees life as one playground. That is why our life is also so precious to us. Because the moment we experience life into the form of our body, we are experiencing the very low frequencies as well. Which also means that the moment we experience that fear of we might die, and you also know it as thrill, that's why also a lot of humans on your planet love the feeling of thrill. You have extreme sports or extreme adventures where you might die brings you back to an enormous form of being alive. So please understand that the moment we experience the higher frequencies in our body and we feel the acceptance of us being alive in all frequencies, we are slowly but steady letting go of the old collective thoughts that we should be afraid of dying. So when these forms in the third dimension are helping us to feel the aliveness in the higher frequencies, the collective shift to the higher frequencies is real. So please understand that it's not a weird change when you suddenly feel that your soul is here to practice aliveness on all frequency levels. And the moment you feel acceptance, and also expansion from this point of view, you are already experiencing life from a higher form of dimension. That is why it is so interesting to be alive on your planet right now, because the third and the fifth dimension are already resonating in our bodies. So sometimes we are contracting and we are feeling the fear of life. The moment we feel fear, we are experiencing the lower frequencies. But also, sometimes we are experiencing a deeper form of love, a deeper form of compassion, and also a deeper form of feeling that you are alive in the higher frequencies. Not even codependent of our body, but we can feel that our consciousness is from an eternal form. So, when experiencing both, we realize that it's all possible in a human body. That's why humans are such an amazing experience. Experiencing the treasures of the lower frequencies. And also experiencing the treasures of the higher frequencies. All the way down into our bodies. So the moment we experience ego as a protection form to stay alive, then please realize that everyone has an old form, or as we say, an old programming to stay alive on your planet. And yes, this is also available for animals, plants, trees. But their consciousness is way much bigger to feel beyond the form of ego that we are an eternal being of aliveness. So please understand that the ego works for you, but it also helps you to transmute to deeper forms of the higher frequency. So please understand that you cannot always stay in these higher frequencies. It is the lower frequencies of fear and also hate and also distrust. So we can open up to the more higher frequencies. But when we experience love and compassion for this full process, we can be grateful and thankful for our ego system. The moment we rise up and experience that our frequency of deeper love and experiencing life from a higher form of being, we see that everything is connected to aliveness in a wonderful form 
of light. Please be grateful for your ego form because it will bring you to a deeper layer of being truly alive. Wow, de kamer is zo licht. <laughs> ik heb bijna het gevoel dat ik het allemaal tegelijkertijd in mijn lichaam kan voelen. I even speak my own language. So I said, I can feel it all in my body. 